Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here's my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world, my core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an itinerant minister, life coach, and addiction recovery coach and author and the host of this show to take your life back today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. As we approach a transition in this country in in the leadership of our government in Washington, it is critically important for the followers of Jesus Christ to pray for those who will be making decisions that impact the future of our nation. Just because we might not have voted for someone doesn't mean that we get a pass to not pray for them. The Bible instructs us to pray for all of our leaders, all who are in the in authority that we may lead quiet and peaceful life uh, in all godliness and reverence. Friends, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, 1 Timothy 2, 2 through 3. So we must not give up or waver. Pray for the president-elect Joe Biden that he would not Uh, be swayed by the voices of self-interest, but that he would listen to the still small voice of the Almighty God. Pray for President-elect Biden every day that God would direct his decisions. Friends, we cannot deny it. Our nation is in trouble and we are facing peril. You can turn on your television or scroll through your Facebook news feed right now as we watch and listen and see that there is so much violence, corruption, fear, and hatred in the hearts of those around us. We are contending with issues that are causing the very foundation of our country to crumble. In the face of all of this, it's important that we pray not only for the healing of the nation, but also for our president and all those in government. All the ones in government leadership who are positions to make change happen. First Timothy 2, 1 through 3 says that we are to pray, intercede, and give thanks for kings and all people in authority. This is God's command to every believer today. Praying for godly leaders is productive towards God's plan and purpose for our nation. The Bible clearly says uh, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. We can turn it however he wants so prayers are important. Here's a prayer for the transition of our leadership. Heavenly Father, we pray that our president and leaders will honor you and respect you as one and only true God. We ask that you give us government leaders who will pray for your will and guidance. Lord, we ask that you pour out your spirit on the nation to help each, uh, uh, each of us discern good from evil, not as the eyes of man, but through the spiritual eyes. Lord, we ask that you humble our hearts so that we will be a nation filled with gratitude and thankfulness. In Jesus' almighty name, amen. Friends, let's start the healing process. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. And remember, simple smile to anyone can change their day and can change your life, can make a difference in your life too. Let the healing process now 
uh, uh, start, let this transition go smoothly, and either way, let's always include God in no matter what decisions or what comes in the future. And may God personally intercept and elect uh, President-elect Biden's life. May God bless you and take care. Bye-bye.